What's up everyone, welcome back to another vlog. So I'm gonna start off the day by pulling one of the batteries off of either the E46 or the E90. I really wanna pull the E90's battery because that one was from the E46 and I think that battery should be good. I'm looking for the charger right now so that I can put one of the batteries to charge. I'm gonna send the charge for the full day and then I'll come and pick it up later in the day and throw it in the car and hopefully that doesn't kill the battery. Letting the battery die the way that the E90 has been killing it, it's not very good and the E46's battery that was the E90's battery is bad so I can't really do much to it but I definitely can put it to charge so it can be a little bit more charged and the car isn't always trying to start on a dead battery. That's what I'm going to get started on today. Where we'll go from there, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, the battery from this car is completely dead. If I charge it, I think that it will last a little bit longer sitting here. That car, I'm going to pull out my voltmeter, plug it into that battery and see if maybe doing that I can check how much voltage is on the battery and how long it takes to drop and start pulling fuses. One thing that I did read last night is that, that people do charge the battery and then start pulling fuses to see when it stops draining the battery. So that's probably what I'm going to do today if I can't find anything else to do because yeah, that car should be reliable. I don't know what's wrong with it. Look at this nice clean engine bay we got to work with now. Okay, so apparently I can test the battery from the two terminals here in the engine bay. So instead of pulling the whole trunk apart to get to the batteries in the back, I am going to test this here and see if we can actually read the voltage on the battery. Reading 12.3 volts, which is normal. And it's not dropping. Now this voltmeter is pretty accurate. It's going up actually, which is weird, but this voltmeter is really accurate. It's um, the Fluke 88 is one of the best uh, voltmeters out there. I got this when I was going to college and all the professors agreed that the Fluke 88 was probably the best voltmeter out there. So it's not that this is a cheap voltmeter. Let's uh, see if the car will start and how it starts. It didn't seem like it struggled much. So we were at 12.36, 12.37. I'm going to let the car sit for a little bit, let it charge the battery a little, and then I'm going to check it again. It does this where at times it's fine, but at other times it does not like the battery at all. I really want to say that there's something wrong with the sub. When we and Tristan traded coils, that sub got disconnected, and I don't know, maybe we just messed with the wire and nicked the wire when I was messing with the coils in the back. Honestly, that's the only wiring that I messed with while we did coils, and then that same day, it had issues. Other than that, we had not had any starting issues or battery issues with this car until we did the coil. So I'm thinking maybe I nicked one of the cables or something is not working properly. I think something might just not be right with that sub. I'll leave it there for now and I'll check it later. I'll be back in like 30 minutes to check. All right, I set the battery to charge. It should be about an hour or so. It is 12 o'clock right now. I'll come back and I'll check it later in the day. Hoping that the battery does charge and it holds charge, you know, at least to just be able to start the car and move it every now and then. I'm fine with it. If this works, then I will charge the E90's battery as well. Like I said, right now, the E90 seems like it's fine, but tomorrow, who knows? So I just got a notification on my phone that I got a package in the mail. They should be the walnuts. Hopefully they're the right size that I need and we might be able to do some body work today. I gotta head to town, I got a couple things I need to take care of. Um, I'm in the E90, I'm trying to see if this thing's gonna charge anymore. But um, one thing that I am reading right now is that the voltage regulator, I think it is, uh, they go out on these cars. And their symptoms are either dim lights, and I've noticed my lights have been a little bit dim, and also batteries not charging or going through batteries prematurely and that, that is honestly what i'm seeing so i really want to say and i really hope that it's going to be that i hope that it's not a cut on any wires because honestly i can't really think of any cut wires i'm still going to check the sub it's been in here since i bought the car and it hasn't given me issues so i don't know why it would be now but that's the only real thing that i could think of i've been doing some research and everybody has the same symptoms i do but they switch your voltage regulator and now they are good so i'm going to give it a shot i'm going to call bmw and see if they have one in stock and if they do then i might just go with the bmw oem if not i guess i'll give it a week ecs tuning has them for 40 50 bucks which isn't too bad but still i don't really want to wait a week to get that just got off the phone with bmw i guess i got two open recalls uh, one for a blower motor 
wiring harness or something like that, blower motor, and one for PCB valves. I'm gonna go in on Wednesday and get that taken care of. That voltage regulator was $187, so I think I might just order off EZS tuning. I know it's really good to go with OEM stuff, but $187 is a lot to spend right now. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and go aftermarket and it should be fine. I mean, I ordered my door jams from ECS tuning and they were fine. So I think ordering the voltage regulator should be fine as well. Okay guys, so it is a lot later in the day. This morning I got busy, so I uh, couldn't really do much, but I got something in the mail today. We got the well nuts I've been waiting for. And then this came in about a week ago. And it's for this. It's been like a month and a half, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably the first thing that I ever bought for this car. I think I had barely gotten it running and I bought this wide body kit. And I just didn't say anything. I just wanted to get it like put on. When I brought it up, I wanted to get it put on the car. And so I didn't tell anything to anybody until like just like recently. Yeah, we're wide bodying the Subaru. I have no idea what wide body kit this is. I have everything. I have both front and rear fenders. And then I have these little clips. They go either on the doors or the front bumper. I'm gonna go grab some tape. We'll mock it up. I don't think we're gonna get into drilling today because I don't know how long this is gonna take. We'll see how it looks mocked up. I haven't seen it mocked up on the car. I just kind of held it up against the car and looked at it. I haven't seen it mocked up on the car though. So let's throw it on the car. I'm gonna pull the car in here. I'll pull that battery back in the E46. I'll move the E46. I'll put the Subaru here and we'll mock up the wide body and see what it looks like. I'm just gonna mock up this one side. I really just wanna see what it's like. I have not seen it on the car yet. So I really just wanna throw it on. I have every piece to the one side. I have tape over there. I have the well nuts and the beauty washers over there, but I don't think I'm ready to drill yet. I'm definitely going to drill everything in, but as of right now, I don't think I'm ready yet. I'm going to be using the car. I kind of don't want to be rocking holes for this and then just getting stuff in the holes or something going wrong there. So I am going to, for right now, just mock it up, show you guys exactly what's going on. And in the next video, I think I will probably make a dedicated video to throwing everything on this video has just been all over the place today so i don't really want to drag the video out today and i am trying to upload daily like i said so that gives me enough content for tomorrow as well and just a good way to end today's video Okay, so more or less, that's kind of how it sit. I'm definitely gonna have to pick up wheels because those definitely are not gonna work. We're definitely gonna get wider wheels for this setup because yeah, obviously this is not gonna work at all. That's one of the reasons why I kind of don't wanna start drilling into this yet. Also, I did notice that I need the front, like the flare pieces off of the STI. I'm gonna need that little, it's like that fin that goes on the STI, the only the STIs have. I gotta order those because the front, let me show you guys. You can see the gap right there. So that fin sits in here and it has that little spike here. And it has the cutout for the spike and the cutout for the whole fin. That looks really aggressive though. The flares have been sitting inside of the E46. So they've been in the sun in like a heated area. So they are definitely not molded where they need to go. And like I said, I have the proper hardware to mount it on. Once I am ready to start cutting and drilling and everything, I have the hardware to start throwing everything on the way it's going to sit. Right now, it looks really rough because it is uh, more or less how it's gonna go. It's kind of stretched right now. These tail lights cured really well. It's time for a polish now. I can definitely polish them now. So when I get the chance, I'm definitely gonna polish these because you can see all of the orange peel. This might be something I start working on tomorrow. I ordered the flex pipe today for the down pipe and it's supposed to be here tomorrow. So we might do that first, but depending on how the day goes, we might actually get into drilling and to fitting this thing properly tomorrow. Like I said, I am trying to start getting ready for paint. The car is coming along really well. This is one of the last things besides that side skirt that I said I need still. I need to order the side skirts. And other than that, I don't really, can't really think of anything else that I'm really looking into doing exterior wise besides this. Everyone's been asking when I'm gonna get wheels. So now that you guys see the fender flares thrown on, you can see that this is going to sit a little bit further in, but even yet, that's a lot of gap. 
that's like a good like two and a half inches so the reason why i haven't bought wheels yet is because i don't want to throw this body kit on and it'd be either too wide for the wheels or be too too narrow for the wheels if it's too wide i can always throw on spacers but if it's too narrow then that's where the issue is because that's going to be the same issue as with the e90 the e90 had some really wide wheels in the rear and i could not fit them in the back unless i ran some not aggressive but pretty decent amount of camber those rear tires they really just they do rub and i did mess up the paint a little bit on the wheels that's kind of my fault but i mean i don't think the paint was that good to start with either way not nothing to really get into it was done is done so main reason why i wanted to run fender flares is because we have a huge crack right here and that is not patchable anymore it looks like somebody tried to do a patch job themselves there is foam in there it looks like somebody tried to patch it like i said once and it did not stick it started falling apart again so this feels like this is good metal up here i'm pretty sure this is going to sit more or less right there so we can definitely drill into that right there and we will cover that more than definitely as i'm looking at this i'm thinking why don't we just match the fender flares and the hood and the hood scoop to the rest of the car because the only things that don't match right now are the bumper the hood the hood scoop and the flares i've been really tempted to throw this hood back on just because i like the all colored look the all one colored look yeah this hood does look better but one color is going to complement everything else a lot more there's a reason why i waited so long for these walnuts and that is because the way these are supposed to work is once you put the bolt in and you start tightening this actually gets compressed and it flares out so it gets stuck behind the actual panel i didn't want to rivet on because once i use rib nuts then those are there kind of permanently or you have to grind them off and that's a lot more work if i ever wanted to take it apart but i mean once you drill into the body it's done anyways but this is just easier if it ever strips out you can just pull this out or push it all the way through and then replace it and you don't have to worry about cutting into the fender anymore i just think that it's a lot nicer to use the rubber than the actual rib nuts because like i said once you put the rivet on it's kind of stuck on there until you want to cut it off as of right now there's nothing we can do with this so might as well just peel it off throw it back in the car and we'll mess with it another day i might have to pull out the heat gun and so i can heat and bend i was told that if i heat it up it will bend a lot easier so we might have to pull out the heat gun and bend everything into place there is still one thing that i'm debating on putting on and that is the weather strip that goes around the flares i haven't decided on if i want to run that or not i've seen a couple of setups and i think i like the weather strip a lot a bit more but i have not decided it's just i'm i'm not really sure once i mount everything on it's going to go without the weather stripping i hope that doesn't manipulate the fitment of the flare after I do decide to put the weather stripping we still have time to definitely decide let me know what your guys' thoughts are down in the comment section below I'm really trying to keep this streak going on daily vlogs and so that is why I'm just uploading every day I'm trying to record every day I'm trying to upload every day but I mean it's kind of hard at least you guys know that there is a white body kit coming from the Subaru we will throw that on another day right now it's getting a little late I don't think I have the time right now to throw anything on anyways we'll install that later in the week but for right now I'm going to end the video here, guys. If you guys like the video, go down and hit that like button for me. Comment down below what you guys think of that white body. Like I said, I picked that up a while back. Never said anything about it. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.